Hi, this is Peter Breen, Vice President and Senior Counsel for the Thomas More Society, coming to you from the San Francisco airport where we've just had another hearing in front of the Federal District Court, Judge Oreck presiding. Uh, as many of you know, we had a terrible jury verdict just a, a few weeks ago after a seven-week jury trial. We had uh, the, the legal rulings were highly erroneous. The First Amendment was literally thrown out the window uh, of overturning decades of case precedent. Uh, we had directed verdicts from the judge uh, telling the jury uh, that David Daleiden and his team did wrong and just send, you know, pick a number out of the air for the money. Uh, so all of that, all of that said, uh, we've taken that. We're working hard on post-trial motions. We're going to go up on appeal on that. We're back in San Francisco today, though, because not only did Planned Parenthood want to bankrupt David, Center for Medical Progress, and everyone else involved in the project, they want an injunction against David and the Center for Medical Progress ever doing undercover work against Planned Parenthood again. Think about it, the life's work of David Daleiden, master undercover investigator, research. He brings the full package together uh, and, and really has been uh, the guy who's, who's just just brought Planned Parenthood to its knees. Can you imagine for the rest of his natural life being barred from doing undercover work of Planned Parenthood? Uh, which is, I mean, that is the thing that he uh, is, is incredible at. Uh, he's performed a, a great civic duty uh, in, in doing his work so far. So we are in court today trying, to, trying hard to fight to get a bench trial uh, the judge denied us, so we wanted to bring in some big names, heavy hitters, to talk about the benefit of the Human Capital Project, of the CMP Project, of what David was doing in his videos. The judge excluded that from the jury trial. Remember, in this jury trial, Planned Parenthood sued us over videos that we were forbidden from playing in court. Outrageous. Well, we were supposed to be able to play them for this unfair competition law claim, this injunction, a permanent injunction against David ever going undercover with, against Planned Parenthood again. Uh, now, uh, we are not gonna get that chance. Uh, we think that's an, an erroneous ruling. We'll be, you know, we'll be taking it up on appeal. But now, uh, we start an expedited briefing process on this to, to stop this injunction, to try to maintain the ability of David and the Center for Medical Progress to operate in the future. The stakes could not be higher. And, and frankly, for the pro-life movement, stakes couldn't be higher. You don't want to put the Center for Medical Progress and David Daleiden on the bench for the rest of his natural life, a permanent injunction. Uh, and, and you know, much less all of these legal rulings, uh, uh, horrendous for anyone doing undercover work against Planned Parenthood or other abortion providers, much less folks at 20, 20, 60 minutes, all of your local investigative reporters who like to go undercover, all of it is at risk. Our entire way of life in terms of our political society with one another, our freedom of the press, all of it is at grave, grave risk. You've probably also heard, but I, I want to make sure that you have, criminal court, nine felony counts are going to now proceed. Now, we've kind of looked at it two ways. Remember, we started with 15, we knocked one off at the preliminary hearing, we got five more thrown out, and they were a critical five counts, so that was a great victory. At the same time, we do have a heck of a road to go. We've got nine counts still to go. That still means a decade in San Quentin if we are unsuccessful at trial. We've got some appeal process on the criminal side that we're gonna go through. We're gonna continue to just press and press and press. And you know, it's always been the thing, we wanna slice off count after count after count until they're all gone. Uh, but all of that is happening right now. I'll tell you, when I heard we had a matching gift uh, from a very, very generous donor here at the end of the year, it, it made my heart leap. $300,000 this person is going to put up to match your donations of up to $300,000. So we wanna make sure to take full advantage of that match. So if you've got a year-end gift or you, you hadn't written your check yet or done the, done the credit card yet, please, please give that. That means $600,000 coming in at the end of the year, which is going to be just, just incredible for us. I mean, you know, uh, it, it costs a lot of money to do this. You know, we, we do this on a shoestring, but we are up against, you know, the biggest law firms in the world. They are spending millions of dollars on legal fees. We, we spend less, but still we got to spend something because we are trying to hire the best, the best available to us who are uh, some incredible folks. So, um, Again, your, your gift here at the end of the year is extremely, extremely needed uh, and very much appreciated. So, uh, and you know, look, I mean, the, we're, 
we're fighting hard really for you. So, you know, what David has always said is, look, I mean, he, he wasn't acting for himself. He was acting for you, for the whole movement, for the, for the children who are at risk for abortion and for, and for those who were aborted, uh, that, that they be given the dignity uh, and humanity that, uh, that they deserve. That, uh, and so that, uh, all of that together, that's what your contributions help us to enable to, to, to keep uh, you know, this, this new year uh, being, to be brighter. You know, we've got some little bright spots, getting those counts thrown out in the federal, uh, in, in, the, in the, the felony court, that was very, very helpful. But that jury verdict, whoa, big hit, big hit. But we've got some incredible issues on appeal and we can't stop fighting right now. This is the critical time. So again, thank you so much. I hope you and your family have a wonderful Merry Christmas. I hope you get to take a little time off. I'm gonna take Margie and the boys uh, for a little time off here after being away from them for about three months here in San Francisco. Uh, but again, my best, our best uh, to you, to your family and yours. God bless you and Merry Christmas.